gonna, gonna open up this we're gonna open up this toolbox and we're gonna get started. We're gonna replace this fuel pump, this fuel filter, and this fuel pump on a Mercedes 190E. Do a little bit of a job, but it's not bad. You just have to make sure everything's clean and you don't get gas all over everything. And we'll get the covers and all off of it. We'll, we'll be back with you here in just a minute. All right, guys. Uh, we got a 10 millimeter here and a 10 millimeter nut here. And back here, we got a little bolt. Once we get it off, uh, it will. Uh, this cover right here will come off. And uh, when we get the cover off, we'll show you what's behind it. But your fuel pumps and your filters and everything should be in this compartment right here. So when we get it off and all, we'll come That's back That's the fuel lines you. right there. We'll show you how to do it. Yeah, these the lines. Okay, we'll show, come back and show you how to do it here in a minute when we get the covers off. Got three bolts, one, two, and three. All right, guys, uh, we've got the cover off right here. And... Uh, we have a fuel pump here. This is the main primary fuel pump. Uh, this is the fuel filter. And this is the um, fuel regulator. And uh, it's been on here for a long time. You can see it's more than likely original. It's probably never been changed. And it's a 91 model. So it's been, uh, it's probably been on here like 30 something years. But uh, we're getting ready to pull all this off of here and then we're going to change them and uh go from there and uh, we'll 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 come back on there in a minute and show you what where we're at and what progress we've made all right we're taking the, the brackets that hold the hold the uh pump the filter and all together this little metal bracket over there it's like a little bridge bracket you have to take all these filter head screwdrivers heads out here these little bolts so that it will drop down and open up. It's all in one big rack. Loosen the brackets here and here, and that lets them, the stuff slide in and out of the holder. So we still have to take uh, all these little bolts here loose off of the fuel pump here. This is the yeah, they ain't been on. This is the feed side that feeds the pump, and the other side is metal, and it pressurizes it and pushes it through your filter. It goes from the tank to here. And it goes out the metal line and it goes back to your filter here and it loops around, goes back over and then it goes up and goes to the engine and you have a pressure regulator right here. Just get everything loose on it. Once we get everything off, we'll let you guys know. Well, the fuel's coming out now. That's all right. A little bit of fuel. Yeah, go ahead and say it. Bob, I was draining the, draining the pump. Go ahead and look. Turn it on. Let it I see. got it. Drain, draining the fuel out of that pump there. Letting the pressure off of it. So I'm just going to run there because it's all pressurized. So we're letting it drain there for a minute. And then we're going to take and change the pump and the filter. So we'll get back with you when we get through draining. All right. We're taking the, uh, we're taking the fuel pump loose now. And uh, we gotta take these two bolts off here, these two little nuts right here on the ends of them. Uh, you have a red and a black, and it's got positive and negative, of course, and the ends are made to where you can't uh, cross them up because this is a little more uh, fitting than this one, so uh, the posts are a little uh, right there. So you just take them loose and slide them right off of there. And there's your wires for your fuel pump. That's what yeah. controls power to your fuel pump. Yeah. Then you have to uh, take this bolt, this little bolt here loose and screws up in here and it seals, it's got some brass washers. You don't want to lose none of them, but we won't be replacing them. And uh, 
a filter right here. You have to do it the same way because it's all built on like a injector line and it just it's a fuel line that goes to each one of them so it feeds both of them so we'll get back with you when we get it uh, off of there. Are you doing it? Yeah. Right. We have the fuel pump right here guys. We have our fuel rail right here, our little feed line. And uh, we have a bunch of little brass washers. So on the new fuel pump, you have to put your first brass washer. Then you take your feed line and you just slide it over it. Then you have to have another new brass washer. And this kit, it, this fuel pump, it actually comes with a, with a new cap to cap it with. So you cap it here. And uh, if you look, you have a, on your motor, on your fuel pump motor, you have a negative and a positive on the post. It's marked on the plastic piece down here, and that's the post. And that's the negative, which would be black, and that's the positive, which just like is a red, battery. just like a car battery. Exactly. And then you just lay your assembly down, and you take your fuel filter, your new filter, and uh, you have to uh, always have a brass washer in the joints on your rail, because if you don't, it'll leak. And you uh, put it put it right over here, like that, and then you take your filter, and you screw it on to the shaft right here, to the bolt. And that builds your assembly. This piece right here, it actually comes separate, and I've done put it on there. But this piece here is so you can put your hose on there and put your clamp on it underneath it because you can't put your hose up on this. So you have to screw your fitting on it and tighten everything up here in a minute, and you put your clamp on it. And the system sets in here, and this goes to the fuel pressure regulator. And uh, once it's all in the in the in the assembly. It sets in there and you got your wires and then you put your whole assembly back under the car and we'll be getting with that but uh that's pretty much all there is to it and once you get it all back together we'll show you here in a minute uh what we what we've got going on here when we go to cranking all right guys uh we're back with you again and we've got the old pump out and you see it's a little bit larger in diameter but what they do is they give you this sleeve right here that comes with the pump and you have to sleeve it over over top of your uh, fuel pump so that it, it's still not exactly the same diameter but the bracket the way it's made it it'll hold it in there and it'll still be good and snug because it's aluminum it clamps and the more you tighten it the more it pulls against them so that's that's the old pump right here and uh we're gonna we're gonna fix it to where uh, when we get it under there to do it and we'll get ready to pull the filter off of it and when we do we'll come back and show you that part of it and then we're going to assemble it and crank it up hopefully all right guys so we'll get back with you here in a few minutes all right guys we've got the uh fuel filter here and you can see it's a little it's a little larger than the one they replace it with but it does the same thing those are it's not, not OEM original parts, yeah. these are not oem stuff this stuff is so and here's your difference, there's your filter, and there's your pump. And then here, this is your filter, and this is your pump. So we're gonna put this back under the car, and we just wanted to show you this uh, Bosch, it's a Bosch filter. We could've probably got an OEM Bosch filter, and it would've probably been the same in all, all the, it looked just like this one. But instead we ordered it online, and we got this one, which will perform and work just as good. So we'll get back with you here in a minute when we go to install it. All right, guys. We've uh, got everything up here where it needs to go. And uh, new fuel pump, new fuel filter. New fuel pump, new fuel filter installed on it. So now we're trying to get the bracket here back on it. And uh, once we get it on there, we, uh, we'll start the car. We're going to be pretty much done. I got to put the cover back on it, install the cover. And uh, we're gonna be we're gonna be done with this baby today here in just a minute maybe. So that's where we're at. Alrighty guys, well we got the fuel pump installed and the car's running a lot different. I will say that running a lot more quieter. The pumps, the last pumps that was on it, which was we think was the original ones, they were a lot more noisier. 
but the car starts right up and is running really good so I'm pumped this is nice very nice <laughs> 